Catfishing doesn't only apply to dating apps. Some investors are catfishing people, and I'm here to tell you how you can spot some red flags from them. Too good to be true deals? Extremely low priced properties can be enticing, but they might be indications of major issues with the property or even potential scams. Two, lack of transparency. A trustworthy investor should be open about the details of the deal. The property's conditions, the contract terms, if they're reluctant to share that information or provide documentation, I'd be a little suspicious. Three, no references. An investor without references or a record, you should be careful. The same goes for online presence. If an investor has no track record online, that's a red flag. Ambiguous contract terms? The contract should be clear about the expectations of both parties. If you're confused or think it's too vague, that's all it is. Also, they should have a signed purchase agreement with the property owner. Fifth, request for large upfront deposits directly to them instead of the title company. This is a red flag we see on places like Facebook Marketplace, but it very much exists in the real estate industry.